Due to popular demand, I am today looking at how you can navigate to a specific set of coordinates on a planet very, very easily. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Down to Earth Astronomy and to Elite Dangerous. On one of my recent videos, um, somebody said that they're already always having a hard time finding a specific set of coordinates on a planet. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how I do it um, and how I think you can fairly easily do it. I'm not sure if this is the most effective way to do it, but um, but anyway. So let's say we're here in um, in the uh, Aurea system and we want to go to the Crash Anaconda. I already have a video up on that, so click the more info icon if you want to see that video. Now. We know that the uh, the crashed anaconda is at um, 43.8 degrees um, latitude and minus 173.9 degrees longitude. Um, and I'll put them up here so you can see the coordinates so you know where we're going. So um, we know it's on this planet, so let's go ahead and um, and just begin to, uh, to approach the planet. And we always, of course, don't aim for the center. Aim for um, aim for the edge of uh, of the planet. And as soon as we get into orbit mode, you will see coordinates pop up on your HUD, just um, just over the um, your shield. So we can see right now. Slow this way down right now here. Okay. So you can see here the top one. That's our latitude. It's currently at minus eighteen seventy. It's going down right now. And our longitude is as 125, so we're far away from the coordinates that we need to go to. Now, if you want to um, increase your latitude, you have to go at an angle of zero, because this is straight north. So you can see, if I go in this direction, now my um, now my latitude is increasing. So that's the first thing. I want to I normally just start with my latitude, say, okay, I know this is going to 43.8, so that means I need to, to head north. Now, I also need to adjust my latitude. I need to adjust that a lot. We almost have to go to the other side of the planet, actually. So to decrease my latitude, you need to go at an angle of 270. Because, um, let's just get to the angle here. There we go. Oh, there we go. So now we should see it begin to decrease as I fly in this direction. And indeed it does. Um, so again, because if you go straight north, that's zero degrees, that will increase your latitude, the, which is the upper number. If you want to decrease it, you go straight south, which is at an angle at a degree of 180, because it goes in increments of 90. That of course means if you need to increase your longitude, the lower one, um, you need to go at an angle of 90. And if you don't want to decrease it, you need to go 90 plus 180, which is 270. Um, that can be a bit confusing, but you can always just try to point in a direction and see how the numbers change, if you are uh, uncertain. But remember those four numbers, 0, 90, 180, and 270. So it's just each time an increment of 90. Remember those angles, because they're, they're, they're going to be important. So let's get some, uh, some speed up here. And try to keep it here at zero and just follow the curve of the planet around you. We're a little low actually. I ideally I want to be a little bit higher, so I'm gonna aim it up. There we go. Around 100, uh, 150 kilometers is pretty good, I think. And we just follow that zero marker. Um oh while we try to keep it at 170 at the same time. So we do not drift off our course. And this can be a little difficult, but you'll get a hang of it. Especially as you pick up speed. See, now we're decreasing fast, so let's slow down again. We've got a lot of altitude already, so we're going to, uh, to drop down a little bit, get down to around uh, 100 kilometers. 150, 140. Let's begin to get some speed up. Look at our angle again, back to 170. Okay, so... We're making good headway already towards the the goal to get to um, to minus one hundred and seventy three point nine, but we can always uh, now already now we can begin to to also aim in on um, on our latitude, the upper one. 
So we know that we need to increase this. That means that we go. We need to go more north. So we need to go closer to either 360 or zero. So if we go like this, turn turn a little bit to the higher numbers. Now we should see that my um, that my latitude is also increasing, else my longitude is decreasing. So this means we are going in the approximate right direction. Oh, there we actually overshot a little bit um, from our target, but we're pretty close. So right now, what I would do once I get close to um, to the target, we of course begin to drop our our altitude. But I turn towards north now because now I want to increase my um, I want to still want to increase my latitude, but the longitude at the bottom is now too uh, small, or the number we need to go back to minus one hundred and seventy-three. So I can do this by just adjust, adjusting this here back and forth. So to say, okay, let's try ten degrees, and this should be uh, increasing or decreasing slowly. So by either going slightly left or slightly right from the angle that you're going at, you can either increase or decrease um, the other number. So in this case, I want to. Um, to go back towards those 100 and uh, minus 173 so we do that um and you can actually see it out there in uh, in the distance because i have already um already found the ship of course it's been there before but i'm not going to target it we're just going to do this um the old-fashioned way because normally you would not be able to see it eventually of course you're going to go into glide mode and here i suggest you keep at at a very high angle above 10 degrees um until you um until you begin to get very close what i normally do normally do is i try to keep um, a very shallow glide until i get close to my target and then i will nose dive down at a very very steep angle um towards the the target that i'm going for so again this is slowly increasing and we're slowly getting closer and closer to our uh, to our target i want my longitude to de uh, to uh, to increase a little bit more so i'm Turning a bit more here. Oh. Now we're actually pretty close. We need to go back towards uh, north because this is going to be... It's very close now on the... Whoops. On the longitude. Decreased a little bit more. And there we go. Uh, almost there. Okay, so we dropped out, and we can see we're actually pretty close to our target here. Um, we need to decrease our, um, or sorry, increase our um, our longitude a little bit and increase our latitude. So we're just going to keep going in uh, in this approximate direction. And again, I turn a little bit um, slightly to um, to the east here to decrease my my longitude. Until it hits those minus 170.9. That's good enough. So back to zero. Again, watch your altitude. Where are we at? We need to go a little bit further here. We need to increase it a little bit more. Our altitude is good. This is a very difficult target to find. Because you cannot really get a visual on it. Because it's so dark on this side of the planet. So you can see now we're getting very close here. Very close. And now we should be almost just above it, and it's pretty good because we are we're pretty much at the um, at the right um, at the right coordinates. So at this point, um, if you have visual, you can either just sit down, take your SRV out. Um, there we go. Now we have a visual on the on the ground. Be, be very careful to crash in. But again, you get the uh, the general idea. We're just gonna slowly. Now we actually need to, uh, we've gone a little bit too far now. So let's turn this around. Because I was not paying attention. Let's turn it around again, like so. And look again at... And there we have it. There's the crashed anaconda. Right where it should be. That's how you do it. Remember those four coordinates, uh, four directions, straight north, which is zero, due east, which is uh, 90 degrees, due south, which is 180 degrees, and west, which is 270 degrees. So remember that, and then point in those directions, and if you have to go zigzag, that's okay, you can always just 
go in that direction and then turn slight to left or slight to right just to see how the numbers change. Um, and eventually you will get the hang of it. So hope you found it useful. If you did, give it a like down below and consider subscribing to the channel for more Elite Dangerous how-tos. And also next time, I will see you guys in space. On my Discord server, I have started an Elite Dangerous gallery and here are some images posted by subscribers.